Hi, and welcome to another Knitting Expat tutorial. My name is Mina, I'm the host of the Knitting Expat podcast. And today I'm going to show you how to uh, close the gap um, that appears on the corner of your heels occasionally when you're doing, especially if you're doing a short row heel, but this is also useful for um, heel flap and gusset. And this trick was shown to me by a lovely friend and fellow podcaster, um, Paula of the Knitting Pipeline podcast. Um, recently when we met at a knitting retreat and I'll show you quickly on this other sock here what that looks like so you can see there's no holes here in the corner of the sock it's all nicely sealed up um, yeah and it just gives a nice clean finish to the corner of your sock now there is a traditional way of picking up a stitch and just knitting it and then decreasing it out and that works fine if that's what you'd like to do but uh, this method works quite nicely to um, really snug up that heel. So I'm just going to show you what you do here. So when you, after you've knit your heel and you're going back to working in the round, before you knit the first stitch, if you take a look at the sock on the side here. You go down, so you've got the stitch on the, on the cord or on the needle here. Then you've got the next stitch, which which looks quite loose in this picture. And then there's this stitch, the second stitch down. You pick up one leg, and then you come across on this side. So you, I, I've picked up the outer leg on this one. Then on the left hand needle where you're about to start knitting from, you see you've got the first stitch on the needle, second stitch down, so first stitch down, and then you pick up one leg of the second stitch down. So this is the outer leg as well. So you've got the two outer legs, on the needle here. You pop them both onto the left hand needle and then you proceed to knit them together. And that seals up that hole there. Then you proceed to knit across the front of the sock in whatever pattern you're doing. So I'm just going to whiz through this quickly. And then if you're knitting two at a time, you just do the same thing on the second sock. So I'll show you again here. You've got the stitch on the needle, you've got the one stitch down, and then the second stitch down is actually quite a small stitch if you're doing the German short row heel on this side. And then the outer leg of the second stitch down on this side. Pop it on. And you knit those two legs together. If you see here, like this one, you see it, it looks like it's going to create a big hole. You can drop that, pick up that one again, and then instead of picking up this one, if you see it's going to make a big hole, you can pick up a different leg. So I pick, pick up the inside leg on that stitch, and that should work fine. So you just want to check, you want to make sure that you're not going to be left with a big gaping hole. Um, Clean it across the front, and I'll show you what you do on the the other end. It's basically the same thing, but it's another example where you don't want to pick up a stitch that's going to create a bigger hole when you're trying to close the hole. Okay, you're ready to knit the back. Keep yourself all set up to knit the back and then we come to pick up a st the stitches on this side and so we, on the cord side you've got the stitch on the cord one stitch down two stitches down and you pick up the outer leg and on this side you've got the stitch on the cord one stitch down is this nice tight stitch but the second stitch down is quite a loose stitch so if you pick up that leg you see there you're going to be left with a really big hole so what you can do is you can either go up and pick up from the stitch above or you can go for the stitch below it whichever way you'd like this in this case I'm going to pick up the stitch above and I think I'm going to pick up the just find the right leg here yeah I think that's the right leg there we go and you knit those together and 
and then across the back. There's no real, um, you don't have to pick up from the second stitch down, that's just um, what's recommended. If you see that the second stitch down is a loose stitch, then you don't want to take the loose one because it will just create another hole. Um, you want to try and pick up from a tighter snug stitch so it's um, not going to give you a loose edge. Across the end there. And you do the same thing for the second sock, assuming you're knitting two at a time. So looking at it again here on the side, put the stitch on the needle. Well, that's, sorry, that's one down, second one down is here. Pick up that leg, the outer leg. Then I'm going this is the first Sorry, this is the first stitch down. Second stitch down is this loose one, so I'm going to pick up that leg there. Keep splitting that yarn. There we go. And knit those two legs together. And you knit into the end. Then all you do, or what I prefer to do anyway, is to knit four or five rounds with those extra stitches before decreasing them out by just doing a knit two together at the beginning um, on the front and the back to decrease those extra, that extra stitch out. Um, and the reason why I, I'd knit a few rounds with the extra stitch in is because then it's, you know, you, it reduces the tension on that corner. Once you move down the leg, just even just a few rows, will help to reduce that tension a little bit. So yeah, that's how, that's my little trick for closing the corner, the little gap in the corner of the sock. Try to find a way to show this to you. It's a bit hard to see while it's still on the needles and it's not really past the heel much, but you can see there already that there's no real hole or anything showing up. It creates a nice neat finish. And it's not too difficult, once you start to do it, it becomes quite instinctive to do it all the time. So, I hope you will find that useful, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below, and I will try and answer them for you. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.